what do you do when you, when you don't have a hexagon or a trap bar to do deadlifts with? These bars here, they have the basic gym bars, the 20 kilograms. Uh, they got a few power bars in here, good bars, but they're a little bit too wide for me. The plates have the handles, which will help me because they're skinny plates. Uh, but uh, like I said, you know, my, my hands are torn, so I'm not gonna test my grip. There's no point, there's no ledge on these, on these plates. Now, but they have handles, and you know, the priority is obviously to work the posterior chain. So I'm not gonna use this because it's a little bit too wide for me, and I know it's gonna hurt my bicep. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna experiment, I've never done this. I'm gonna try and use this easy bar. This one is 10 kilograms, and it has these little gaps here that's where you hold the bar so I can shove my knees in there or my, my shins I'm assuming because you know I'm not that short and uh, I can put my shins in there and eliminate the difference between a straight bar and a hexagon or a trap bar because in, in these bars the, the hex uh, trap bar you can place yourself inside the implement and what this does is you're, you're able to deadlift more weight obviously because it's easier uh, it's a little bit higher traditionally, well, depending where the handles are, but you, you, you do that usually to, to overload and do heavier weights than you would do with a normal bar. And uh, it also, of course, in the, how that happens is because you can place yourself inside the implement and you put your ankles where your ankles are, you put your, uh, your hands are where your ankles are. They're not like in front of you, they're on the side. That's why, you know, I mean, most people that I know of and I, that I've seen can uh, deadlift more weight this way. Uh, and since I'm really curious to try it, the only reason why I'm trying, I mean, if it was a straight bar, I would use it, it's okay, but it has enough, uh, it, has an, it has enough space for me to load it. I do not know how much weight I can do. This is a total experiment. And uh, if it's uh, too low, I might put a plate underneath, but I'm not gonna go like under the, right underneath the, my kneecap and stuff, because I did that a few weeks ago. There's no reason to max out on everything all the time. So I'm just gonna test it and we're gonna see how it goes. Now, as I predicted, the gap allows my shin to be almost in the position where it would be with the, uh, the trap bar. With the trap bar, I would probably move my ankle just further, further to the forward, just slightly, like an inch or not even two inches. So this is really good. And the good part is, I don't hitch my deadlifts, but if it doesn't, well, let's see, get stuck on my shorts, this thing rotates, so I'm not gonna, you know, there's no, I'm not ruining anything, I'm not gonna hurt myself, this is perfectly safe. And uh, I might have to put a plate under, because it seems a bit low, but I'll, let's see how it goes with this. So that's uh, 50 kilograms. That's it, 10, 10 kilo bar, one plate per side.
luckily we have those uh, thinner plates, you know, the ones that are at 20.5 kilograms. So that makes it uh, 214 kilograms. Um, um, the bar is it's just an easy bar. It's 10 kilograms. And I'm lucky enough that it, it actually fit five plates. I put a little lock in here in between the plates so I can hold it. And of course I put another lock on the outside. So I, I mean, it wouldn't, you know, it, I don't think it would fit anymore. So I guess I'm lucky I'm not, you know, stronger. Probably, I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna chill for a few minutes because I had to load it and it's a pain in the ass to load that thing from the, from the floor. And I'm gonna attempt a single, nice and easy, and finish my session for the day. So that went a little bit better than I expected. Uh, I thought I would do four plates, you know, with a little bar that's 170 uh, kilograms. I thought of 170, 180. I did uh, 214. Um, that was that was fun. The last set was heavy. I felt, I, you know, having trained uh, maximally so for, you know four years, four and a half years now, I can always feel when my face starts burning. When you, it's like getting stepped on by a car, you know what I mean, on your chest. And my eyes are starting to burn. I know my CNS is at about 95, 97.5%. Probably would have done 220. I'm definitely not gonna experiment on that today. I'm not testing that. I'm, I'm, I'm happier. I'm, I'm happy the way it is. Uh, also, I slept about three hours since last night. I haven't slept at all. Uh, what, the, what that does to me, I have this um, system where I piss myself off I know it sounds psychotic, but I'm always like, oh shit, I'm tired. I'm not gonna make it. And of course that pisses me off. Like I don't need anybody to tell me, oh, you're a fucking pussy and you cannot lift this. I, I got myself, I'm my worst enemy in this. And uh, I knew coming in that I was gonna do four to five plates. So that, that was really good. Um, it's, uh, it's also at the limit. So I don't know if I can do any more. Like practically, I don't think I can do any much more than this. So. Uh, maybe at some point I can, um, maybe I'll be able to do like three or five reps later in the year. And I've been, you know, I've been maxing out a lot lately. But like I said, I'm trying to to do a little bit of conjugate method. I don't have everything that I need, but definitely, you know, changing the exercises, you change the strength curve. You you, you change the way in which the, the force, the strength you're using is coming out of your body. It's just kinetic linking. And uh, so I'm just uh, quite happy today. And, uh, well, check the links in the uh, description, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.